Good morning, Vietnam. Nope, wrong country. We're here in the, where are we here? At the, uh, at the Magic House. At the Magic, the Magic House. House in Kirkwood, Missouri. And how did we get here? <laughs> we didn't paddle or anything, did we? We drove, no, no. We drove? Yes. And were you driving or was I driving? You drove us here. How was my driving? <laughs> Excellent. Oh, really? I know you're just saying that. <laughs> oh, There's only two nicks. Oh. oh, we did all right. We yeah. did all right. So anyway, um, here we are at where are we? The Magic House. Mm -hmm. How many people have gone through the Magic House? Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. Oh, because that's propriety. Oh. Approximately 600,000 per year. Yes. For a grand total, I think of 12 million, 12 million? 12 million people have gone through these doors. And they have weddings there too. And other festivities. Yeah, you can rent out the facility for weddings or any kind of event you want. Yeah, I, I think it's it's a happening place. Yeah. And um, what else do we have for you? Come on. Well, it was ranked number one by the Zagat family um, survey. Do you know what that is? No. <laughs> The Zaga family is the best family that ever came over from old Germany. Oh, oh that was a different segment. Oh, uh. Yeah, they're actually, they're teamed with Parents Magazine and they put on a survey oh. of where parents think the best places to take their children are. And this was ranked in the top. The top top? Mm-hmm. One of the top places to go oh, with your okay. children. It's, it's got all these different exhibits. All right. Um, indoor and outdoor. Um, there's a interactive, exhibit where kids can um, serve pizza. They can pretend like they're in a restaurant. Oh. They can pretend like they're doctors and nurses and weigh babies. They can fish. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Yeah, the little kid in me is coming out. <laughs> I, I want to see uh, what, what's going on in there. Yeah. Um, I will have to go inside. I was there once before and um, or a couple times and then you, if you touch something your hair goes straight up. Oh yeah, that's the best part, yeah. And there's another place you can go where if you move, yes. it's like colored and then it freezes on the screen. Really? Have you tried that? Yeah. No, no, I, didn't, I don't remember Like if you that. jump, it'll take, you know, you're, it's got you jumping on there, it's kind of cool. All right, and then I'm on cheat sheet and, uh, <laughs> oh, which family was the original home built on? It was built in 19... Oh, no, oh, no, 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 1901, no. 1901. Ninth, by okay. the um, Edwards family, yes. the A.G. Edwards. Yes. They went on to found the A.G. Edwards. And they are, um, aren't they going to be part ownership of the soccer stadium, I believe? I think that's I think true. So. I think so, yeah, yeah. Oh, but and they, then, they donated it in 19, I think in 1979, there was two women from St. Louis who donated th three years of their time to open up oh, you're the kidding. Magic House. No. Yeah, they had renovation after renovation mm -hmm. after renovation. Yeah, it started out at 5,500 square feet inside. Now it's currently 55,000 square feet inside. And if you go in, in the second and third floor, I think of the original building. Yes. Um, at the top, there's like this little attic space you can go into, which is like the original house. And it's it's a tiny little space, but it's it's really cool to get into. I mean, do you have to crawl around in there? You have to stoop down a little bit, yeah. We're too uh, tall. But might, the kids would have fun. They wouldn't have to. I might get my suit. <laughs> uh, uh, come on, I'm uh, a little dusty. <laughs> they also have the uh, Wonder Works. Have you heard about that? No. But uh, I, I'm sure you're going to explain it to me right <laughs> I now. I will tell you all about yes. it. It's approximately 6,400 square feet. It has permanent exhibits and then revolving exhibits. So it doesn't get old. You can come see the new things they bring in. Oh, so it, like if you every six months they have something new? Something like that, yeah. Oh, and it's a revolver? Or a, a yeah, they have the stuff that's there permanently and then they have the ones they bring in. Well, you must have been here a couple more <laughs> times have. than I have. I'm mean, going to tell you. <laughs> you have, I mean, yeah, I've been here a lot. Oh, you have? Mm -hmm. All right, what other significant thing can we... Uh, um, they have... We, um, and we have the Magic House in the background. Yeah, the, the new sand castle. Oh, the sand castle. Outside. The yeah, sand. that's true. Yeah, yeah. Should we go and play in the sandbox? Sure. <laughs> Be hard to vacuum that out of your car, though. All that's that all sand. That's right. I don't care. <laughs> that's why. I, that's why I have uh, vacuum cleaners and everything else. And uh, all right, anything else going? Uh, yeah, no? you can build like a, oh. uh, an interactive ball. Yes. Where um, like shoots yes. and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? No. 
Like you, you create it and then like you can test gravity and like send oh. the balls down the chutes and you can make your own path for the balls. I wonder if they'd like to let us go on in there because a little <laughs> kid and Dan Brown wants to see everything, but you know, it's if, if it's a grown man and people are, <laughs> and little kids are saying, Dan, what's wrong with that man? He's, he seems like he's really old. <laughs> I'll just sit there and watch. Yeah, we can, yeah. We'll, right. we'll be fine. We, we'll fit in. How would this compare to the one that um, downtown, the, um, the city museum? Yes, the C city museum. I mean, uh, yeah, okay. they're both about an all day event. They're oh, both really? fun, yeah. I remember because they, they serve beer there. <laughs> you know, it was only 9 30 in the morning, but um, yeah, they, they certainly did. I would they assume for the weddings here, they would have some sort of, of catering. Beverages? Yeah. Well, that'd be a very, um, if I could have a plug, <laughs> if you have kids and everything else and everybody's worn out, a cold beer does taste a little bit better and rejuvenates you, right? Mm -hmm. And we did have a, a, a song, right? No. Well, yeah, you do. Oh, I have to. <laughs> okay. Ah! <laughs> Nah, I don't know. I, I messed it up last time. <laughs> the night that Patty Murphy died, I never will forget. The Irish got some drinking drunk that some aren't sober yet, and that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> all right, what are we, where are we gonna go from here? Or do we have more? Yeah, we have a lot more to see today. That's gonna be good. And it, it, uh, have we exhausted every avenue to these people? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. All right, well, let me do one more thing because I don't want to da 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 Did we say when it opened? It opened in 1979. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that makes it, what, 41 years old? You weren't born that way. Were you born? I was born in 79. Oh. As old as me. Little baby came out. This is a wonderful day. Yeah. Little did we know. <laughs> All right, we are going, and thank you, and please don't ch change the channel. We're, we got a lot of stuff today. Yes, yes, yes. At Brown & Brown, our phone numbers are easy to remember. In Missouri, just dial all threes. In Illinois, dial all lights. So if you've been injured in a car crash or hurt on a job, call now for a free consultation. At Brown & Brown, we'll give you the personal attention that you deserve. We only get paid if you collect. So if you've been hit or hurt in a car crash or hurt on a job, call us now for a free consultation. In Missouri, dial all threes. In Illinois, dial all eights. And at Brown & Brown, if you can't come to us, we'll come to you. Hi, this is Dan Brown again. Who else? And guess what? We're at the Cheshire Inn, and the Fox and the Hound um, restaurant is here. I've eaten here many a times. It's very good food. And um, what is it? Oh, when you park your car, they do it the English way. So if you get messed up, you're not messed up. It's, it's just weird. So if you, <laughs> the parking garage is a little bit of a mix up, but other than that, they have good food. And they have a big chess, um, you know, one of those big chess boards and everything else. They have something like that at Marquette Park. If you're ever out there, they have a big chess, bo uh, chess board. Boy, say that 10 times real quick. And, um, but no, it's, it's a happening place. They got a Starbucks here now. Oh, I can't say Starbucks. Uh, jumble that. <laughs> we'll take that back. That would be a voiceover. But anyway, uh, it's, it's a beautiful day and the Cheshire Inn, look at that big sign. So if you're looking for a good place to eat, you found it. And just tell them Dan Brown sent you. <laughs> They'll probably poison me or something. <laughs> All right, well, that's it. And whew, that's it. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, maybe you're thinking you can deal with the insurance company on your own. But remember, insurance companies have a staff of professionals working for them. We're the attorneys at Brown & Brown. 
Don't be a victim twice. To get your car fixed, obtain a rental car, and get compensated for your injuries, you should have us working for you. We have offices in Missouri and Illinois. So call us now. In Missouri, dial all threes. In Illinois, dial all eights. And at Brown & Brown, if you can't come to us, we'll come to you. With Caroline, Caroline is uh, one of our integral people at our firm. And tell us a little bit about what your what, what your typical job is. Well, I work in the workers' comp de uh, part of, of the firm, and uh, I am the one who answers the ca uh, calls and answers questions and does all the paperwork. <laughs> so my typical day is pretty busy with calls and paperwork. <laughs> Nobody ever yells at you over the phone? Oh, all the time. <laughs> well, wait a second here. You yell back? No. Why no. not? Well, come on. You can raise your voice just a little bit. I give but, them to you. Well, <laughs> the, the client is always right. Is that right? Correct. So if you, know, you can't say no, 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 you, you try to diffuse the situation. Is that it? Diffuse? Correct. Correct. Oh, I used the big bird. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but anyway, um, so, um, oh, let's talk about where we're at. Yes. Oh, we're at, right. If you can see behind us, we are in front of the giant, giant eyeball here at Lumiere Sculpture Park. It is one of the 70 plus uh, ginormous statues here, at, here at the park. And you know, if you've ever been here, you can, you can say that, yeah, you've seen the eyeball. I've but, never been here before. Really? And, no, I haven't. Well, there's a ton to do actually. Uh, in the winter time, a lot of times the fields are open to where dogs can run and play. Trails are paved and unpaved to where you can choose a preference and they are short or long, whichever one you prefer. And you can go on the, like in the sun area or back into the forest. And there's even more sculptures back there. Is it dog friendly? Yes, it's very dog friendly. I take my dog here all the time. <laughs> What happens if he has to, uh, you know, number two? Well, you just bag it up and there's trash cans all around. And all right, we'll do. Yeah. And tell us for some more about the intricals of your common day. My, my common day is pretty... Pr Don't pretty say routine because everything's new at Brown and Brown. This is the great. Right? Well, I was going to say standard, but routine oh. is good. Right? Uplifting. <laughs> But uh, my typical day, I answer phone calls. I answer clients' questions. Yes. We have some that are uh, kind of irritated, some that are very nice and are very nice to speak to. Um, we typ I typically try to answer as many questions as possible. Hey. And uh, there are some clients that even say, she, she's a hard worker, and even call you and say, I, I like talking to Caroline. That's it. That's good. Well, let's talk about uh, a little bit more about Lomier Sculptural Park. First time, first timer. And do you know any anything about this? <laughs> I do, I do. It's a uh, Lomier Sculpture Park open um, as part of the St. Louis Department of Parks and Recreation System in July 7th, 1976. Oh, so I'm whoever bequested all this acreage, thank you. It's a nice place. It really is, and each time I come here, it seems like there's a brand new statue and something new to look at. It's always changing. You think, uh, like somebody has some, like an eyeball there, and, and uh, the, what is, I, I still don't get what the eyeball signifies. Is it just because, it's, is, this, is this like eclectic uh, art or something like that? I don't know. I've gone to some uh, um, museums, and I gotta tell you, I, I leave pretty quick, you know, because it's, don't you see the the person in this wavy length? And I said, no, I don't, I don't see any of that stuff. And Dan Brown walks out, but here is pretty neat. I gotta tell you, the the big ball, um, and then they have something right here that um, way way back. If you look, what is that? You know. 
Can the, we, are you it, talking it, about the red? Yes. I'm not exactly quite sure, but a lot of people climb on it. Oh, really? You're not supposed to, but a lot of people do climb on it. Well, red, it's just a, I, I guess, a metal, metal sculpture. Do they have food here, too? I'm not exactly quite sure. Well, wait a second. You didn't do your research, research young lady. Now, come on. <laughs> I've always gone to just walk around and do picnics myself. I've never actually gone to the main building right. where uh, they host special events like weddings or receptions. And every once in a while, uh, fairs. I know every year they do something on Mother's Day weekend. Uh, but I, uh, another time they do receptions. There's plenty of places to take vi uh, pictures and videos, and so it's a good, nice little spot if you ever want to have a gathering or just come for a picnic. A picnic? A picnic. You know, I don't think I've had a picnic since 1936. No, I'm not that old. Um, <laughs> it's probably been 30 years uh, since I've had a picnic. Oh. Grab the wife and kids and have a picnic here. Uh, that's where my, my number one, <laughs> number 21 uh, goal that I'm going to have, have a picnic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of neat. I don't even have a basket or anything, though, do you? I don't really need yeah, a basket today, you know I always says. think of uh, canoe trips. That's kind of like a picnic, isn't it? If you're on a canoe. canoe? away on water. <laughs> well, that's it. Yeah, it's, it is. Well, anyway, we had joy. We Oh, we can't sing anything. Oh, darn. Doggone it. We can hum uh, Mary Had a Little, little Lamb. Oh, do you want to hum hey, Mary Had a Little Lamb? Yes, please. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know by now, these cease and desist letters are... Oh, oh. I mean, for mundane stuff, too. Hey. You'd think like Jesse James, well, Jesse James is dead, but uh, you know, somebody else. Uh, but be that as it may, we cannot sing my favorite songs because of cease and uh, it says desist Desists. orders. All right, well, I, I don't know why I'm down here, but I, I can't get back up, so that's it. Oh! <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Stacy, and Stacy's a very special person. <laughs> Why is Stacy a, a special person? Well, Why tell, am I special? Tell, tell you, tell the audience about your uh, endeavors and what you do for a living, and um, I, I think it's very, very uh, uplifting. Well, um, I have a company called Rescued and Redeemed. I make wigs and things for cancer patients. I do massages for them and help them out where they're needed. I also work for our film production companies. We do local films here. So it's called Four Feet Off the Ground Production. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was waiting to come out of my business oh. and I saw this special man here. Yay. So um, Yay. yeah, I'm here right now. Yes. Well, <laughs> excited. It, it, yes, excited. And um, you know, it's, it's a, a beautiful day and everything. And, and you know, dealing with cancer, um, you don't see cancer victims. You're, 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 you're supposed to say something else. I don't know what it is. Um, um, well, I have survivors. Um, oh. My, I, I keep them uplifted, yes. happy uh, when they're in remission. Um, I just keep them having joy. Yes. Keep them looking sexy and healthy yes. and having fun. So yes. that's what I love. Yep. Well, thank you again. I'm going to give you a hug. Okay. Oh. Thank you. If you've been hurt on a job, you're probably thinking, are these doctors working for me or the insurance company? At Brown & Brown, we can have you examined by another doctor. And guess what? Many times our doctors will find issues that the workers' compensation doctors have missed. So if you're injured on a job, call us now. In Missouri, dial all threes. In Illinois, dial all eights. And at Brown & Brown, if you can't come to us, we'll come to you. Here we are, and guess what? 
We're still here! Yes, 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 and more yes. And Jennifer is here, and she is a wizard with statistics. <laughs> Although I took statistics and advanced statistics at M Mizzou, but this young lady's got me beat. What am I gonna <laughs> say? So statistically speaking, here you are, Miss Jennifer. <laughs> We're at the Creve Coeur Lake. Yes. Yes, that yes. is true. With how many acres? Uh, I think it was like eight thousand. Two thousand. Oh. 2,000 acres. Yeah, all right, we'll do 2,000. That's still a lot of acreage. Yeah, this is a lot. Right. It's a lot. It's one of the oldest parks. It's like the first park in uh, St. Louis County. Really? Mm hmm I wonder if there were Indians around here or anything else way back when. Probably. Yes, I yeah, mean. Yeah, find some artifacts if you dig in certain places. That'd be neat. You know, people always say, oh, I found an arrowhead. This mm -hmm. thing is going to be worth five thousand dollars no i don't think no. so I, I think, uh, it's an arrowhead and it's pretty nice but I, uh, the common value would be about five dollars yeah that's what i was thinking five dollars <laughs> great <laughs> minds uh, uh, think alike so um and what else do we have statistically speaking <laughs> yes? well i don't know about statistically speaking but uh, people come here to kayak. Yes, that's good. Uh, boats. I like boats. Yes, we're on a ramp. Yes. I suppose you could swim and fish. I don't know. I would, I would yeah. suspect that it's, fishing is allowed. Mm -hmm. Fishing, yes, I would think. Yes. And swimming. Mm -hmm. Do you yes. know what Creve Core means? Oh, <laughs> lost love. I don't know. Close, close. Oh, really? Yes, yes. I just took a stab <laughs> at it. What is it? Broken heart. Oh. Well, they can be... Yeah, the same thing. Yeah. Oh, I, I gotta enough. tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, brain. <laughs> what, what else? The uh, Olympics. Oh, the Olympics. The rowing uh, uh, club. 1904. Yes. yes Olympic and they won. Rowing. Yeah. They won. Nobody is here to celebrate, of course. No, but, probably not. Yeah, it's too bad. <laughs> but, um, oh, <sighs> what else has we got? We uh, have uh, uh, activities. Disc but, frisbee golf. Have okay. you ever played frisbee golf? I have. Yeah. But you know what? I, I I did it like a couple times, and everybody was smoking marijuana at the time. And I, let me say this: I'll say the first thing. It wasn't me, but it, it, it seemed like it's cultural that you have to ingest marijuana before you go <laughs> for frisbee, frisbee golf. Yes, I think so. Yeah, there's, I think there's frisbee golf tournaments that you can I'm not going to go, oh, in. hey, yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, if you're, uh, marijuana is legal. It is in, yeah, Illinois and Missouri. I don't I know. They're working on it. You have to get a card. Okay. Medical marijuana card. Is that what you're talking about? Yes, yes, I guess. Well, I'm, I'm not going to get I don't know. Not you, personally, but I mean people. All right, we'll do. <laughs> hey, well, um, teach their own. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I'm ambivalent about um, <laughs> marijuana. Um, I'm not going to smoke it. I'm not going to do anything. But um, if somebody goes home after a hard day at the office or a hard day um, um, shoveling coal and everything, I don't mind. Uh, if they go and smoke a little doobie. Well, anyway, um, so say la vie, and mm -hmm. what else did you have? Uh, oh, that you can do here? Yes. Uh, there's zip lining. Z Where's have you that? ever zip lined? Yes, I've done it many times. Is it scary? Oh, yes, especially if you're in a third third uh, country or whatever. What do you call a that? Third world country? Third world country. Oh, my gosh. I had this raggedy dig, and I said, are you sure this is correct? Is yes, yeah, senor. You didn't speak English or anything. And I said, all right, I'll do Well, and here you are. You survived. <sighs> okay. I'm, 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 yes, I did survive. survive yes. I did survive. I would sing a song right here, but I can't <laughs> no, because... No, we can't sing that song. We can't sing. Cease and desist. I mean, <laughs> how many times have I said that? Cease and desist. And, um, all right, and then what else do we have? Um, walking trails, hiking. Oh, mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. And any animals around here? Um, there's a lot of fish if you like to fish. I like fishing. Yeah. I, I, I always like fishing. Mm hmm But, um... Yeah, I, I, if it's a big catfish or something, I don't know if I'd eat it. Would no. you? Maybe. Depends yeah. on how you cook it. Oh, all right. You we'll fry it. 
Fry it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they only taste good fried. Come on. <laughs> and look at all this. It is, I mean, if you scan the um, camera, I mean to tell you, this is a beautiful lake and it's nobody's utilizing it. So come on down. Bring the kids. There's a playground. There's, I think there's four playgrounds. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a, what is it, Monty Hall? Come on down. Oh, no, that's not Monty <laughs> Hall. That's somebody else, right? That's The Price is Right. No, I no, don't think that's Bob a, Barker. Bob Barker. Yes, yes you're right. Yes. yes. All right, and then last but not least, anything else going? I don't know. Do you have anything else? Well, I have to let's take see, a look, young see. lady. What, what do you uh, got? Woodstock was uh, uh, here? No. <laughs> no. No, no, Oh, I misread it. Turn the page. A skating rink. No. Yep. No. What we got? No. 2,000 acres resort with hotels and dance pavilion. Oh, that was in the 1800s. Oh. Yeah, not yeah. anymore. Oh. And they said the uh, the city cars used to come in here. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, they used to drive you here. That'd be kind of neat. Yeah, it would be. But no not anymore. Oh. No. I bet you this is rich and famous or something <laughs> like that. Somebody inherited something and then they get the, yeah. you know, they got claims to the the entire lake and everything else but um all right and then let me just do this do, 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 do. um what year did the st louis county park open do, do, 1943 do, do. oh very close okay, 44. one more 45. 45. <laughs> cha-ching you're the <laughs> i can't even see like the the next <laughs> contestant for whatever and um yeah, 400 acres of land was donated to St. Louis. 400 acres. That's a lot. It yeah. is. It said 2,000. 2,000 acres are the whole park, though. And then trails and uh, mm -hmm. I don't see any lake rentals, though. Um, I Hello? don't know where they are, but. Hello? Is this the lake itself? Yeah, Can this you? is the lake itself. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, you can bring lake. your own kayaks. Okay. Mm -hmm. How much does a kayak course cost? Three to five hundred dollars, uh -oh. something like that, I think, in that range. I'm not sure. Christmas present. That would be a nice Christmas present. Well, then, That'd be like two Christmas presents. But then again, <laughs> if you have a kayak and you get it in Christmas, you're gonna forget about it in the in the summertime, and it's just gonna be a, a gigantic paperweight. <laughs> you think? You have to store it all year, yeah. 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 So what am so I? So you could just rent one. And then yeah, uh, oh, okay, we'll do. Yeah. I could do that. We can is race. It like we a, can race. Is it a paddle or something? Yeah, like the, the paddle. And then what, what, you have to use your legs too, right? No, that's a paddle boat. Uh-oh. Oh, hey. there was a fish. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It got away. No. <laughs> but anyway, um, for all of you, Creve Core Lake is the place to be. That's right. And if you ever need any representation, call me, Dan Brown, and you'll talk to me. 314-333-3333. And in Illinois, 618-888-8888. If you can't come to us, somehow we'll come to you.